Okay, so the first card that's fallen is the monks, and this is having you know new spiritual revelations about things that are going on. So you might be changing your belief system in some kind of way. Maybe things have happened, and you know you're reviewing how you see things. So the monks is about you know collaborating with different ideas, really doing some research, uh, maybe readdressing your spirituality to help you get through a difficult situation. And this is providing you with some kind of spiritual nourishment over here. You can see, uh, you know, you are getting that abundance spiritually so you are growing as well now this is also a card about you know achieving things so abundance coming in for you getting that stability with that home there finding a new pathway in life uh you know focusing on home and focusing on caring for family as well there's something around you that is causing you a lot of stress and you know you may be repressing a lot of anger a lot of upset uh, and you know this is make, giving you a lot of frustration with this shouting card so a lot of things are um, you know you are suppressing it maybe this is why you are readdressing your spirituality trying to find some answers uh, from a spiritual point of view so in the past year you've got the weapons card and this is you know uh, struggling to get things sorted out uh, maybe you signed new contracts as far as work goes because this is about climbing that ladder of success but this is also having going through difficulties everything seeming uh you know problems seem seeming bigger uh than they really are but you have all the tools to be able to sort this out and you've been doing this in this last year or so you've been trying to make plans but you're not quite sure about what the future holds for you. You have an idea and you're setting off in a new path, but you're not quite sure where you're going to. So a little bit of confusion, not really seeing what the goal is, not really seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but you are soldiering on, you know, despite uh, all the difficulties that you have been facing. So going into the future, you've got the Harlequin over here, and this is using your creativity to get things done. So doing things, you will be able to do things in a different way, and people will take notice. So this is bringing some creativity into your work situation. And there's a lot of communication coming in, so a lot of messages coming in. Um, maybe you have been making, will be making a lot of communication with, uh, with, with a lot of people, sending out a lot of information or dealing with a lot of information over here but some important message coming in so be aware of that so those are the energies for that week so i'm just drawing cards from the navigators of the mystic sea tarot i have shuffled this deck So you've got the Hierophant over here, and this is, uh, you know, learning, uh, this is dealing with a lot of information, this is also using your intuition, this is taking on either that learning role or teacher role or getting some kind of advice, uh, you know, professional advice on how to handle your money or how to handle your professional situation. Because this card is ruled by Taurus, so it's about personal finances, personal gain, and it's about receiving uh, good information, doing a lot of research. Uh, you know, if you're dealing with money, if you work with money, then you're giving out a lot of information. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, uh, in sound information as well. So, you know, good advice, you're getting good advice or you're giving out good advice and dealing with a lot of information as well. So those are the energies, and, and it's helping you grow financially as well. So... Um, You've got the Nine of Cups crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. So you are working very, very, very hard. So much so that you are absolutely tired, uh, you know, at the end of the day. It looks like, you know, you are completely um, exhausted. Uh, it's draining a lot of your energy. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. So this is very focused on your work, very organized, very practical, but working, I think maybe overworking to a certain extent, uh, putting all your efforts and energies and focus on your work, trying to get things done. And you're pretty good at what you do. You're in some kind of management position, but you have focused all your energies on that particular position right now. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. It looks like you know, you've ended an old job. There was some kind of payout. Uh, you, know, you received some kind of money uh, from it, but this is also being focused a lot on work to attain your 
your goals. So you are reaching the top of your profession, but you are very, very focused on it. And if you've ended a job, then th there was some kind of financial reward after that. Maybe you moved on to something new. And it looks like you have moved on to something new because you've got the Ace of Cups over here. So uh, something new, but also that involved a study as well. So you may have studied, uh, started some kind of course, um, you know, uh, to get you up that career ladder to improve your skill set. Because with the Ace of Cups, it's about learning new things as well as, uh, you know, something that you're enjoying. So you've started something brand new that's giving you a lot of emotional fulfillment after ending something, uh, you know, um, ending an old cycle of work, starting something brand new that's giving you a lot of emotional fulfillment. That seems to have happened in the last three months. Now, in your mind, there's some kind of decision that you have to make, an important decision, and uh, you're thinking about it quite a bit, uh, deliberating about it. So there's some choice. Uh, you're sitting and thinking about it, and it's something that you are trying to make for the love of it rather than because you have to make that decision. So, as, you know, the choice uh, is you're making it for your own good this time. So going to the future, you are feeling very isolated, alone, um, despondent. You're feeling as though you're disempowered as well with this Three of Swords, very restricted, um, you know, um, this was some kind of heartbreak that you went through. So uh, there was a breakdown of communication between you and the other person. Um, they could be in a third party situation. You can see the sword coming in from the clouds. But there's a breakdown of communication between you and this person. And you're trying to deal with that heartbreak. So you're getting over that or you're trying to deal with it right now. You've got the three of cups over here. So you are, have got people around you that are there to support you. You are managing to communicate. This could be a mother figure as well that you're communicating with because you've got cancer over here and you've got Mercury, Mercury is about um, you know communication. Cancer rules the you know the mother or family. And maybe this is where you're getting your support from, from your family members uh, through this difficult situation that you're very heartbroken about. So the Page of Swords, there's some kind of legal decision that you're waiting for. Uh, and with once this legal decision or news about this legal decision comes in, you'll be able to move forward. So it's something that you're cutting out from the past, but it's uh, once this decision is made, uh, you'll be able to move from that old situation into the new. Uh, so this news is coming in. That's what you're waiting for. Uh, so on your mind, you've got the nine of pentacles. You're trying to achieve success as far as your money goes and trying to achieve financial independence as well. So that's what you're working towards. So um, the final outcome, you're going to the future. You've got the four of pentacles, uh, the seven of swords and the six of swords. The four of pentacles is uh, authority. So taking control of that situation, getting back your uh uh, you know, your financial means, managing to save money, uh, uh, you know, uh, watching your money very carefully and working towards that. This is a very, very much focused on money. You've got sun in Capricorn, which is about work. So you're very, very focused on work, trying to establish yourself. The four is always um, a card of putting down roots or putting down um, stable foundations. And this is what you're trying to do. You're also watching your money very, very carefully because you've probably gone through some kind of a financial loss and now you're having to, uh, you know, save every penny. Uh, so that's what you're doing. And you're doing it very much by yourself. So you're being very independent. You're having to sort out all the bills by yourself. So you're very, very worried about money with this four of pentacles, but very focused on trying to get everything sorted out. You might be dealing with a very difficult situation. The person you might have been dealing with might have betrayed you. There might have been some backstabbing. There was a lot of lies, deceit, um, you know, and... Um, it's a card of ambivalence. You're not quite sure about this person still, but they caused a lot of issues and everything they said obviously was uh, had a lot of lies in it because you've got the mirror reflecting. Uh, so it does never reflect the truth. It's always, uh, you know, distorted. The mirror is always a distorted view that it gives you. So they, they pulled the wool over your eyes and, you know, you were deceived in this particular situation. But you are now moving away from it. You've got the Six of Swords, Mercury uh, in Aquarius over here, moving away from a very difficult situation. There might have been a legal ending to the situation. Maybe this person got caught out, uh, you know, and you've, the, the law has been involved. Maybe there was some theft that was involved as well. But you are moving away from that situation. You can see the boat moving away in the distance over here, and you're flying away from that situation. So whatever that problem was, you will be able to overcome it and move away from it. Um, you know, so it's quite a positive card. After going through a lot of difficulties, you will be able to overcome it. And you're going to have to rely on family, uh, you know, to give you that support. And they are there to give you some support. And this might even be the Hierophant seeking advice on how to deal with any kind of legal situation. So this might be seeking some legal advice and also using your intuition to sort out the problems. So you are moving away from a difficult heartbreak situation over here with Three of Swords. Healing takes time. 
Um, but you have, you know, you've got everything um, in place. You've got the tools to handle it, waiting for some kind of legal news over here. Um, and, you know, focusing, refocusing on work as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. And this is for advice. You've got the Prince of Summer over here, which says, a deeply emotional um, experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. So some di big decision coming in for you. This might be some kind of offer. You're going to have to make a decision pretty quickly with this. Uh, make sure that you do some research um, uh, don't just jump into things uh, without thinking about it uh, but you know movement is coming in for you and you, because you've got the prince with this uh, wand over here it's something magical something that's going to change your life um, you know forever really so it's, it's a big decision that is coming in for you and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness as well you've got the seven of spring here, which says be assertive believe in yourself and don't let anybody take away from your personal power trust that you your inner guidance is true and follow it completely so this is standing up for yourself this is like the seven of so, um, rods stand up for yourself take control of that situation and you will be a winner with the seven of swords you know although you have everything coming at you uh you generally have got the power to overcome any kind of situation this gecko is you know climbing the wall over here so even though things look like they're going to be difficult you he's got all you know pads on his feet so that he can climb this wall so you are going to be able to overcome the situation you've got what it takes uh you've got the strength so believe in yourself and you've got the ace of winter over here which says implementation of your brilliant new idea may not start off um, very well, but keep going. The challenges will keep you, uh, refine you and reshape your goals into something even better. So even though whatever you start off with is going to be a bit challenging initially, um, you know, it might feel like, you know, things are not going your way because you know, you're climbing up this uphill, this wall, um, but keep going because, you know, um, whatever you start off now is going to change your life forever and it's going to be a positive change. So, um, you know, it's it's a good idea and it's a good route that you're going down and there will be success at the end, even though things seem a bit shaky initially. But once you start, when you start something brand new, it's all, it's never ever going to feel like it's, it's going to go right. You know, we always have doubts, uh, but overcome those doubts and believe in yourself and you'll be able to conquer uh, the situation and get over this heartbreak that you've go been going through. So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.